Okay, that's better. So, so I had the great idea of doing a podcast. I have no topics. I just have my ADHD go through. Um, I don't even know if I can get the audio lined up with the video. Anyways, who cares about processes? Um, it's hot as fuck in here. Nah, what are, I'm actually nervous. That's crazy. Um, my mind suddenly went blank. That's like I'm, I'm camera shy now all of a sudden. Uh, cause I feel like a ton of people are watching me. You know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, why am I in my car? Because I don't have my own space right now to do what I want to, right? And that's kind of suffocating. But it's kind of crazy that I'm so insecure. Well, people are sleeping, first of all. So I'm not going to be in my house sitting here talking to fucking my phone um, while people are trying to sleep, obviously. But I don't really want to... If I were to record a podcast anyways, my family's like loud anyways. So I don't want to... I don't want them to watch me or like judge me for things like right now like I think if my cousin looked out of her window she could probably see me doing this and I find that embarrassing but that's just insecurity but who actually gives a fuck to be honest like yeah she could see me yeah she could have her opinions and stuff like that but who fucking cares like how how, how can I explain this so she can have her opinion and everything. She can be like, oh, that's cool. Or, oh, that's lame, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, I'm doing what I want to do. And whatever she's thinking, whatever, that's like irrelevant to me making this, to me doing anything. Like, that's just how it is in, in life or anything that you do. It's like, you just, yo, know, people, okay, people are just, Started a group chat out of nowhere in the middle of this, so I'm distracted. I keep getting notifications. I should have put on do not disturb. This that might happen this whole time. Anyways, ADHD. Um when it comes to things that you do and you being insecure about other people's opinion, the thing is that like if we kept if it like let me use let me talk in the first person instead, instead of us. So like I am somebody that takes into account everybody's opinion. I try to value everybody's opinion, but I had to eventually stop doing that because it is destructive. I ended up like being more insecure and be like, oh no, I have to do what they think. I have to do what they think. I have to do what they think. And then trying to put all these opinions into one. And that doesn't fucking work because opinions are so different. And it, it, it ends up just being destructive like you're it can hurt your self-esteem it can ruin your own ideas and your own plans and your own thought processes and that's not fair to yourself that it's just not fucking fair to yourself so basically what i'm trying to say is she's in her own little world i'm in my own little world regardless of what she thinks whatever i'm doing doesn't fucking affect her it doesn't like you know it doesn't affect the other person um really almost at all uh, unless I'm like f like actually doing some action or I'm doing something that does affect what she's doing Then that's when that like it's it's a problem, but I'm over here doing making no noise uh, Whenever I go in I'm not gonna make any noise either um, She probably they probably don't even know that I'm doing this. So it's like why would I care? Why would I be insecure right now? I just relax and Yeah, that's kind of how it is with this podcast, too Am I out of focus? I can't fucking tell. Whatever. Um. I apologize for the audio, by the way. Because I don't have an actual mic. I don't want to set up... I, ha I have a mic, like a better studio mic. Whatever, like a cheap one. But I don't want to set it up in the house. Um, and just start yapping. That's also an insecure thing. Um, you know, I can preach and say all these things of like, oh, like, dude, like, don't be insecure, it doesn't matter what they think. But then, like, actually putting shit into practice is so fucking difficult. Like, for so long, I've been, like, on this path of, like, self-growth and everything. And, uh, giving myself so much advice. Well, I've done that for, like, 
you know all my life for a long time but I, in recent years I really did change myself a lot or put a lot of effort into changing myself and it's actually difficult once you're in that position to actually do what you've been preaching it takes it literally takes practice it literally like takes time for you to actually your brain to actually take into effect what you want to do um what else did i want to talk about i've made new friends recently and they're really fucking cool i want to say that so shout out my new friends um obviously my old friends too are cool as fuck yo my i'm so sorry um I could do a fit check, but like the fit right now is kind of horrendous. Like it's just sweatpants like that have no like this color doesn't match like this shirt at all. And I'm just like really hot, really sweaty in this car. Um, and then I got like good old chonclas. Um, I better not show my feet. <laughs> just got some good old chonclas on. Um, that's the fit check. <laughs> no drooly, no nothing, no makeup. I don't know why I said makeup. I don't know. I feel like that's usually part of like fits and stuff. Yo, I'm gonna do this for 40 minutes. I don't know if I can. And the audio is gonna be so fucked. I'm just gonna go 20 minutes, okay? Um, or 30. Let's go for 30. But I don't know if I can yap that much. What else? Okay. What other interesting things can I yap about? So, <clears throat> excuse me. My, dry, my throat's been, like, more dry recently, but I just spent, like, two hours singing, whatever. Um, oh, I posted a little cover on my TikTok. Um, my TikTok is the same as my Instagram spam account's name. I don't know if I want to say that, actually. Fuck it, I'll just... Just leave that. Who cares? Um, it's... If you want to see, like, me post random shit on TikTok... Actually... Let me talk about this. So I have like a goal of um, getting a thousand followers because once you get a thousand followers, you can stream on TikTok and you can actually can make some money because TikTok's so uh, lucrative right now. And I would like to get a thousand followers so I can stream. So if you could go follow my TikTok, that'd be very nice. Um, Dream, which is God of Blassie, G-O-T-T-A-B-L-A-S-Y. That's the username. Um, I think at the top, I think the name is also Bog Frannon, which I, it's like, I'm so creative, oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so smart and funny and creative. Um, that name came from, like, literally my mind. It sounds like a Star Wars character name, actually. Uh, it's spelled B-O-G-F-R-A-N-E-N, -E which is, like, um, that's just, I don't know where to put this light, I'll just, it's fine. Um, that's kind of irrelevant because once you find God of Blasio on TikTok, it's fine. Um, also, I'm kind of scared of being in this car, or like scared a little bit because for well, I mean, I am in a in a city, and you know, cities are usually like a little bit more dangerous. But uh, if somebody pulled up, usually there's some like homeless motherfuckers that would just like pull up like right in front of our house at like two a.m. in the morning. I think it's it's like eleven o'clock right now though, so don't. But anyways, there's like people that pull up at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And they sit in front of our house, like just chilling. And one time I was out here and they were, and, and I just wanted to be in my car like alone. Um, weird thing that I do because um, I just want to be alone, right? And they were just sitting back there chilling. And some I, I like got out of my car and stuff like that and would get back in. And they were sitting back there, but they've been leaving, leaving me alone which is really good because usually homeless people don't really leave you alone, especially me. For some reason, I'm kind of like a homeless person magnet. Um, they be coming up and talking to me and shit. And I've lived with homeless people before. I guess that's a story I can tell, right? I don't know if I want to tell that story, though, because this is going to be public. I'm not telling that story. Moving on. Um, yeah, fucking homeless people. Uh, that's why I'm, like, low-key scared, because, like, what if they just, like, pull out and they just see me with, like, a fucking flashlight pointing in my face while I'm just talking? It doesn't matter, though. It's fine. Um, oh, the story about my bird, uh, this is 
hanging up in my car, right? That bird, when I went to Honduras, right? Um, we went to El Lago de Yohoa, which is, if you don't speak Spanish, um, loser, by the way. Uh, <laughs> the, la the Lago de Yohoa is just the lake of Yohoa, basically. That's like the name of it, right? And this bird is from that lake. Like, my cousin bought it for me, and she's like, here, here's a little bit. Here's like a, I don't want to say a souvenir, because that sounds kind of lame. Souvenir is kind of lame, right? It's, she's like, I want you to keep it as like a memory, and like, when you, when you see it and stuff like that, you remember us and remember me. It's like hell yeah so it's uh something pretty like sentimental to me it's um very cute i feel like i own i realized when i was moving um <clears throat> a lot of my things so when i moved from the midwest to the west coast um i realized that i re i lost my train of thought i realized that i own a lot of things that my best friend from childhood gave to me um and it was like a lot it was like 20 separate separate things or like 15 separate items they're usually like little toys or little like trinkets or whatever and i realized that i save them um on my back i realized that i saved like almost all of them that he gave me and i had so m i have so many of them like every, we would be like rummaging through my stuff be like okay what do you want to sell what do you want to keep what do you want to get rid of etc what do you want to trash and half the things that like there was so many times where they're like oh do you want to sell do you want to get rid of this you want to sell this i was like no i can't get rid of it my best friend gave it to me um i'm not gonna drop his name but yeah my friend gave it to me and i, and I was like whoa this is like a lot of things but i've kept all those things because bro that's my that's my best friend like i've known him since i was like when i first came to the u.s from honduras i, well, I was like seven or eight years old and he was one of the first friends that i made and we bonded over pokemon and um he ended up being like or um yeah we bonded over pokemon and we've been like best friends since we're still to this day best friends like i text him every once while we talk and whenever I go hang out with him, this is this is my favorite kind of friendship, right? You've been friends for like a long time, or whatever. But like, it doesn't matter how much time you spend away from each other, you still go back to each other, and like you, like it's like it's like no time has passed. You like talk to each other, and you fucking jerk around the same exact way, or you like you have the same chemistry, and you can like still be like really cool friends. You just like pick up where you left off. I love those types of friendships, and that's how me, me and excuse me, me and his friendship is because yeah i we i still go over to his house and we just fucking talk about pokemon for like five hours like every time i go over there we just like talk about pokemon or talk about life whatever like whatever random shit we're just there like talk about cool shit like that but yeah also pokemon was one of the first like uh one of the first things i was really like a fanatic about and really obsessed about like i could i could talk about pokemon for so long obviously and it's just something that I've always liked. Um, of course, like, uh, when you love something that much, you kind of have, you end up kind of having a love-hate relationship with it. Because, like, especially, like, nowadays, a lot of the Pokemon games that are made, I just, like, are not fucking good. Like, the quality could be so much better. And I have that belief about, um, I have that belief with uh, the video games that they're kind of just, like, garnering, they're, they're, they're focusing on, on, on on the children right the young people so they're kind of like baby games and they over explain things and they make it easier which is like fine it's good to go on towards kids right because it's a very like that's what matters in video games is the kids like you want the kids to enjoy fucking enjoy something like that's obviously that's important but also the old games i me and my friends we had a perfectly fine time like playing them we enjoyed enjoyed the fuck out of them so there's no reason to sit there and 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 spent have like a fucking one hour fucking tutorial in the beginning of the fucking video game to explain to me how to fucking i don't know how to fucking click fight how to fucking open a menu bro fucking stop doing that shit um yeah that's my rant on pokemon i could go on and on but i don't know if i want to do i i don't want to i don't want to bore people uh this is me live overthinking um yeah basically Kids are smarter than we think, too. 
Um, and I don't like that they over explain things in those video games. Like, I think the gift difficulty should be there. But it's really cool that, like, Pokemon fans have taken it so far that they've, like, taken a creative way of, uh, taking on... How do, how do I say this sentence? I don't even... Bruh, sometimes I don't even know English, honestly. Like, I can't even form sentences correctly. Probably sound like a bozo right now. Um... So what am I trying to say? The thing that I'm trying to say is that eat your vegetables. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. That was not a f <coughs> It's really hot and sweaty in here. I'm losing my mind. No, the cool thing about Pokemon and Pokemon fans is that they've taken these easy like baby games, right? And they've put on like their own rules to them. It's called a Nuzlocke. I'm sure, like, if Pokemon, if people have played Pokemon, they probably know what this is, uh, especially as an adult. You basically, like, put on your own rules. Like, every time a Pokemon faints, you have to, like, release that Pokemon. Uh, like, it's, like, a permadeath kind of thing. I think that's, like, one of the basic ones. I, I remember one of them I did was that, like, uh, you can't... Hi, car. You can't heal yourself in between Pokemon centers, in, be in between, like, the healing stations. Um, I thought that was... Uh, that was a fun little thing because like you're trying to run through like a forest you know like you're getting all these random encounters like Pokemon coming at you and like beating the shit out of your Pokemon and your Pokemon are fucking dying but you can't sit there and heal your Pokemon like you normally could with like medicine and stuff I'm trying to speak in similar like simpler terms so that people can understand um, yeah and it makes it a lot more fun because you're like struggling to get to the next point and it makes it harder so um yeah, I think that's really cool and really fun, creative, that Pokemon fans have created their own diff difficulty to Pokemon games. Because they're so easy, they, like, find found, like, the benefit of the doubt and made it and created their own rules and things to these Pokemon games and made them, like, enjoyable and fun for them. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, that's, uh... There's my Pokemon segment for the episode. Maybe every po episode I'll have a Pokemon segment. No, just kidding. Um, that might be kind of annoying. Um, what else? What else? What else are we gonna talk about? Uh, the other thing <clears throat> that I kind of wanted to yap about was the conversation that I was having with one of my friends, and um, I even had this with um, I think I had this with like two different friends, and I ended up we were my first friend we were talking about like. Uh, basically philosophy and we usually get in these like deeper topics and I think it's usually very interesting um, and I recommended to my second friend the same episode that we had talked about my friend had, my first friend had recommended me that it's called philosophize this it's a good podcast um, I recommend it uh, my friend um, should I say your name yeah, shout out friend number one for uh, giving me a cool ass podcast um, to listen to. Should I just say who it is? I don't think it fucking matters, does it? My friend recommended the podcast. She's really fucking cool. Um, yeah, what I was talking about with them was basically about perfectionism and something that I struggle with a lot. I think like a like a lot of other people do too. But I think this is why, it is the reason why I have struggled a lot to put out any type of content or anything that I want to put out because I, I have this natural urge to want to create things and create content. And I've always had, I always have ideas because I'm a big like dreamer type of person. I'm an INFP, you know, Gemini Moon, Sun Libra, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Sun, Sun Gemini, Libra, whatever fuck. Aquarius fucking PCs, pee pee poo poo type shit, you know, that's how, that's what I am. So... I always have these like big ideas and dreams that I want to like put into and with like music, with like art, with making content, making videos. Um, but because I am too critical of myself, um, I ended up, I end up paralyzing myself to the point where I don't put out the content. Like this video um, that I just put out of me singing, right? Like I was singing Billie Eilish, um, it's not Ocean Eyes, right? Was it Ocean Eyes? Yeah, okay. It was Billy Eyes, Ocean Eyes. It's on my TikTok. If you want to watch it, another plug for my own thing. But, anyways. 
um, I almost didn't even want to, I noticed that I was starting to be really critical of that video too. I didn't even want to post it. Um, I didn't even post the whole thing. I posted like the whole song, but because it wasn't perfect, I just put the part that I liked the most. Um, and I didn't really like, obviously like I can pick a part, I can pick the hell a part of how I look. Like I could easily be like, I don't like how I look in this video at all. I'm just going to trash it. Um, I think I, I, of course I started to pick apart like how I sound and how my guitar sounds and I can pick up like all start criticizing like, oh, like, um, the video doesn't look as good as I want it to look. Um, or like I need to practice this more, but obviously like a bunch of people liked that video. Um, and people we can't let perfection like i can't let perfectionism and my criticism paralyze me this much i'm what like 27 years old and i barely put out videos and but when i was like when i was like 17 16 years old i had so many ideas of music and things that i wanted to make i was so fucking creative and then i went to music school and like it fucking kind of traumatized me and burnt, uh, burnt me out and stuff i had so many ideas i wanted to make so many things i wanted to do but I couldn't because I ended up criticizing myself so much that I didn't want to put it out. And I want to grow out of this and I'm going to grow out of it because I'm using a lot of talk tactics and a lot of positive mental attitude shit to get myself out of this. Sorry, I'm talking like this. Um, yeah. So I'm in general, I have like taught myself how to be kinder to myself anyways because I realized that criticizing myself to that extent, to that extreme, um, just par ends up paralyzing me and destroys me instead of actually helping. Um, imagine this is not recording. Okay, it is recording. Yeah. I just... I want to get past that i have had i've had like a music writer's block since i was like 18 years old um and i'm gonna get out of it that's that's a long fucking time i went to school and i already felt burnt out from music and i wasn't practicing music as much as i wanted to and i wasn't enjoying it as much as i wanted to i was feeling like i was reaching a barrier um that it felt too difficult and I started to compare myself to others like you know I see all these other people that play these incredible instruments and they have all these talents they're like producers and they like record music and they can make their own songs that's a whole other barrier um sorry this is such ADHD let me go back to what I was saying comparing myself to these amazing musicians I'm like why am I not there yet I've done music for this long you know I've I've I should be putting more effort in I should be putting more time in but that's not fair to me because that just ended up destroying me. That mentality is so bad that I had. There's no way I can be comparing myself to other people because I've, I have a complete other, like everyone is so fucking unique. We all go through like different life stages. We all go through different things in life. We all handle them differently. Our brains have completely different strengths and weaknesses. We are given completely different situations in life, so why are we why are we fucking comparing ourselves to other people? It's not fucking fair to yourself. It's not being kind to yourself. It's ultimately just self-destructive. It's ultimately just destructive. So that was one thing that I really had a lot of issues with um, when it came to music. And that added on to my writer's blog. I think I also just, that did happen. I don't know, I can't use the excuse of me focusing on other things. But I honestly, I, in my head, I've the amount of songs and ideas that I've had run through my mind and I didn't write them or I didn't write them down is crazy. I've literally had songs like almost played out in my, like, in my mind how I want them to sound and like a whole idea. And now they're just, they're low-key gone. Well, I don't want to say they're forever gone. I think they're still there, hiding somewhere. I just have to, like, 
discover the discover them again or get them again um, and I know I can do that because I don't know I feel like memories those sorts of things and like memories and thoughts and those things I feel like they're always almost always inside of us they're always kind of left there like good or bad but we do have I think we, we do have some sort of control about getting rid of that shit I, think, I mean we do have when it comes to, to thinking of memories and having like intrusive thought memories whether they're good or bad maybe our reaction is like the best our reaction is the thing that we have the most control over is what I think um yeah that's my wisdom I'm reaching 30 minutes so uh, I have like three minutes left. Um, I'm sweating terribly. Uh, not terribly, actually. Like a, it's like a seven out of ten sweat. Um, there's not water like running down my face. I'm just kind of like, there's still dry spots, but I'm a little, a little moist. Uh, sorry if moist is a terrible word, right? I remember, remember when people in school would always be like, "Ugh, don't say moist." That's so disgusting. I hate that word. Grow up. Grow the fuck up. I do hate one word, though. I hate the word um, cunt. C-U-N-T. I can't, like... I curse a lot, right? Obviously, you can kind of hear in this podcast. I use a lot of bad words. Uh, and... But cunt, I don't like using that word. I know my Australian friends, they like... like That's, like, part of their language. It's so casual for them. But... It's such the thing is that it's such a strong word. It's like you almost only ever use it in like really special, like specific situations, like a really strong situation. Um, I just pop my neck. Did you guys hear that? I don't know. Whatever. Um, I it's I just like sound. It's really offensive, and it makes you makes me think of a vagina. Actually, you know what it makes me think of? This is this is fucking weird. Cunt makes me think of like, like someone with the vagina like getting kicked in the crotch that's what it, that's what it reminds me and like that feeling of like getting hit like somewhere where you just like it's just like straight up like uh like your flesh and stuff there's like not like a ton of feeling there like say like you get hit like in your elbow like right here it's like the equivalent of getting hit right there that's what that's how the word cunt feels to me that's a really weird description i think i think i'm a little bit acoustic um yeah that's kind of wild uh no way i i actually made it to 30 minutes guys yapping i feel like i have so much more to say too um i also have ideas of like having other people join me on the little podcast um i don't know there's a lot of things i can do uh i kind of like the solo ones though because like i love having control Mm-hmm. Just uh, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, no, I actually kind of do like like um, being able to just like obviously I have control of my podcast, but um, it's kind of a little better when I'm just fucking talking, right? Um, maybe I like the sound of my own voice a lot or too much. That's not true, actually. Actually, like sometimes I've I've um, spent like a whole day or whatever. I've realized that like. Sometimes, like, in an entire day, if I, if I don't see anybody, like, I will not talk. I will have, like, not said a, a single word all day. Um, that was when I was really recluse. Like, COVID days and stuff like that. Yeah. That is... That was a time. And I think that could be a good uh, a good story for another time. Uh, let me apologize to everybody. Th- uh, if you listen, like, this fucking far... I really fucking appreciate it. Um, you're cool as fuck. And sorry you had to listen to like such bad audio and stuff. I don't even know if I'm going to post it. So if I post it, you know, um, my perfectionism didn't, didn't win. But I can't, I wouldn't be, I would be very surprised if the audio is still good with me just holding the microphone like this. Because um, it's probably not going to sound fucking good. Um, yeah. So, um... I was going to think of an outro, but um, 
I'm too gay to think straight right now, so. That was a joke, guys. Relax. <laughs>